Okay, John. James Parker, how's it going, mate? Just uh, pulled your video up and read your email. Thanks for sending me your next ring. You know, I appreciate it. Um, right, so a um, co couple of things, right? A couple of things that I want to, uh, I want you to get, want you to take away from today's session, uh, because I agree. <clears throat> the last lesson, um, you know, was kind of like your swing evaluation. So I was going over, I was going over more points than what I would normally. <clears throat> Excuse me. Than what I would normally for a for a swing evaluation, um, but but after today's session, I want you to take just take a couple of things away. Right, um, <clears throat> the first one in your takeaway, and, and I agree, you're moving your hands inward nicely now, right, rather than taking them a bit too straight last time. So that's really good. I like that. Um, but I agree, your your club your club face is fanning open a little bit, right? In the takeaway, so let's get you there. That club face there, look, is a bit too open at that point, right? Um, now that could be because of your grip, right? So if we zoom in there a little bit and we look at your right hand grip, uh, that line in your right thumb there, that line, that yellow line, is going up towards your left shoulder. We want that line going up towards your right shoulder, right? So we want that line going up there. Uh, so that just tells me your right hand's just a little weak, okay? So um, get your right hand on a little bit better, get that line going up towards your right shoulder um, rather than your left shoulder, and then that, that will probably cut out the, the fanning open of the club face, right? Uh, just getting your hands on a, a little bit more neutral. Um, the next one is... Uh, learning to take the club away, um, keeping your head in the box, right? You can see I've drew a little red box there where your head is. Uh, and the, 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 the green line is, I want you to imagine that your, your forehead's kind of on a wall, right? So um, during the takeaway, we want to keep your forehead on the wall so you can move that left shoulder down, right? So as you go back, that left shoulder is just a little bit Maybe do this in yellow. That left shoulder is just a little bit too high. So that's the tilting part. Uh, how low you let, how how low your shoulders go in the swing. Left shoulder down on the back swing. Right shoulder down on the through swing. That's the right tilt. Um, for me, in your back swing, that left shoulder, therefore your left tilt, isn't enough, right? So we need to keep that left shoulder down. Most of the time, it's because people move their head to the right which is exactly what I see you doing there, right? So you've got a little box for your head. So you can see right in the first move there, if I put a little dot there where your left ear is, that little yellow dot, you can see right in the takeaway there, you've moved it a lot. So now you've moved your head sort of three inches back and that left shoulder is just going to move too high, right? So the first bit is keeping your, head on the, keeping your forehead on the wall and you can practice that at home. Just get you, just get in a door jam or a doorway, and practice moving. You keeping your forehead on the wall, um, and then moving your left shoulder down more, right? Um, so that's the first one. Uh, the next one is uh, well. Let me pull up a. Uh, 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 I'd also like you for, for a driver. I'd like to see you to see your feet wider uh, and turned out more. Right, and there's a reason for that. It just helps the function of the helps the function of the of the knees move. But it but it's also good at having the left toe turned out a little bit here. So try and imagine when you're looking down. Uh, try and imagine if if twelve o'clock is here, get your left foot pointing at eleven o'clock, and get your right foot pointing at one o'clock. Right, eleven o'clock, one o'clock. Okay. Uh, right. So so. Now, let me pull up a, a pro. Okay, so here's, uh, here's Tommy Fleetwood, right? So the, ne the next one, let's look, at, let's look at what he's doing with his head first, because this is a good example, right? So there's his wall, right? So as he goes back, you can see how his forehead stays on that wall. If anything, it's pushing against it. It's pushing this way, right? But you can see when he keeps his forehead on the wall, as he goes back, it can also move that left shoulder lower. Right, so look how lower. Now, yes, he's hitting an iron rather than a driver, 
so he's standing a little bit closer to the ball. But even still, for a driver there, I would definitely want to see your left shoulder moving down a little bit more, right? So two things there. He's kept his forehead on the wall, that green line, and he's moved his left shoulder lower, right? So you can see your head comes up off the, off the wall. It also comes up out the red box. And by the time we're halfway back, your shoulder is that high and his shoulder is a lot lower, right? So that's the first thing. Got to get that takeaway a little bit better, right? Got to keep the center of your shoulders in the same position so you can pivot around it, right? Uh, the next one for me is understanding that once you've made a better backswing, you've kept your head on the wall and you move your left shoulder down. As you're coming down now, we've got to learn to get into a better position by the time we get to impact, right? So if I stop you hip there, heels off the ground, hips are open, right? If I stop you there at impact, foot's on the ground and hips are square, right? So the dynamics of your swing have to be a little bit better on the way down. We've got to get those hips more forward, right? Um, meaning you've got to get the center of your hips more over the front foot. Um, if we just go back to your face on view, when we look at your swing there, so that's where you start. That's the center of your hips, right? That yellow dot. Uh, let's say the center of your hips wants to be on the green dot at the top. And then as you start coming down, down to impact, your center of your hips is moving more and more and more forward, right? So they get over the, your left foot, right? By the time you know it, you did a much better job on the backswing. You're getting your hips moving forward. I love that. There's no sway now in your hips. The, the sway is in your head look. Right, so that's part of what we're doing there. Um, moving your left shoulder down, but as you come down now, as you move your hips forward, they are moving forward, but not enough. Right, if I stop you there at impact, I'd say the center of your hips is about there. Right, so still nowhere near over your front foot. So we need to get the hips more over the center of your hips, more over your front foot, and you've cleared more out of the way, right? Meaning you've got to turn your hips, get them open, just like you see Tommy Fleetwood, right? So if I pull him up again, right? And, and the, dri the drill for that is stopping at P6, right? So stop at right about there, P6. If I pull you back to P6, right there, right, so you can see, he's got his heel off the ground, your heel's flat, he's already, now don't forget, he's only at P6, right, P6, his hips are already about 30 degrees open, right, your hips, if anything, are still closed, your hips are still pointing over there to the right, his hips are pointing left, he's cleared them already, right, so you practice that doing slow motion drills, right? You practice that, you come down, you try and get your hands opposite your right thigh there, right? Your hands in front of your right thigh with your heel off the ground and your hips open, right? So they're the two things I want you to practice. I want you to practice the takeaway, moving your left shoulder down and keeping your head on the wall, right? Your head comes off the wall, look, right? Uh, and then I want you to come down and practice getting down to P6, but practice that in slow motion. Get yourself in a mirror and practice that sort of stuff. Okay, mate. Uh, any questions, just uh, shoot me back an email. Cheers, John.